everybody. Today we have Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 515ITL05 series. It's an Intel Core i5 11th gen laptop. Let's take it apart. Let's see what we can upgrade, fix or replace. Start with bottom screws. You need a T5 Torx screwdriver. Okay. Now let's separate the bottom case from the palm rest. Use plastic tool, otherwise you can scratch your parts. Work your way around the edge so you can disconnect all the clips. Here we have the part number for the case bottom. Now we can access all the internal components. So start with disconnecting the battery. You may have to unscrew the battery first. It's gonna be easier to pull out this connector. So if your laptop doesn't hold the charge or the battery is swollen, you can replace it. Now I'm going to pull the connector and that's our battery. Here we have the model number. So now here, let's take out our Wi-Fi card. So if the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace this card here. Gently disconnect the antenna. Unscrew, unscrew. And that's our Wi-Fi card. Here we have the model number. Here we can see our storage. So if your laptop doesn't boot, it tells you no boot, no boot device or you would like to upgrade your storage to the bigger one. That's how we can do it. That's the M2 slot. So that's the extension for the card. So that's our actual SSD drive, NVMe SSD drive. Here, let's, act, let's take out now our heat sink and cooling fan. So if your cooling doesn't work or the fan is making grinding noise or it doesn't spin, you can replace it. Okay, be gentle. Ah, let's disconnect it, the fan from the motherboard. And be gentle, don't bend the heatsink. It won't work if you bend it. Here we have the part number for the heatsink and for the fan. Here we can see our, our processor. Unfortunately, the processor is soldered on the motherboard and you cannot replace it. So if it doesn't work, you have to buy the whole motherboard. So here we can see our speakers. So if the sound is bad, we can replace speakers. So disconnect it from the motherboard. All right, 
it. So these are our speakers. Here we have the part number. That's our I.O. board with our USB ports and the power button. But in order to take it out, we have to unscrew the hinge screws. So let's do both hinges because the other one covers the motherboard. So to pull out the motherboard, we will have to unscrew this hinge as well. from the motherboard. So now gently unfold the hinge assembly so we can take out this board. All right, that's our I.O. board with the card reader, power button and USB port. So if one of these don't work, you can replace this board. Here is the part number. Now let's take out our motherboard. So disconnect the video cable. And the keyboard and touchpad cables. That's our Bluetooth cable. The fingerprint reader. Okay, now let's take out all the screws from the motherboard. One more cable here. If we can take it out. There could be a screw under that sticker, yes. This is how we can take out your motherboard. Here we have the part number. Now let's disconnect our time rest from the screen. Unfortunately, the hinge is broken, so we have to be gentle here. So that's our keyboard touchpad palmers assembly with the fingerprint reader. Very often sold in one piece. If you need parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. And here we can see that the keyboard is riveted to the palmers, so you cannot replace it. You have to buy the whole palmers keyboard assembly. As for the touchpad, it's held by these screws, so you could replace just the touchpad if you need to. Same with the fingerprint reader, you can replace it. And here we can see our Wi-Fi antennas. And that's our screen. As we can see, it's very fragile, usually sold in one piece. It's very hard to take apart this kind of screen, so I would advise to look for the whole screen. And that's the part number on the video cable. So in case if you would like to try to pull out the screen, take out these screws and then find this adhesive sticking out here. And pull it out gently. This is what holds the screen in the back cover. You have this adhesive strip on both sides and it's 
pretty easy to break if you pull too fast. <laughs> okay, this one is out. Let's see if we can pull out the other side. So here on the back we have the screen model number. Here we have the video cable connector. So to disconnect this cable, you have to flip this retaining clip. Now we can pull it out. Unfortunately, this screen is damaged. But here we can see our video cable, the webcam, and the hinges. But as you can see, that part breaks often here, so that's kind of like wrong design. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.